Spencer, why do you look so nervous this morning? What's the matter? Are you mad that your mom's gone? So Amber left to take care of other people's farms. The pigs have a nice selection of stale bakery items. Greens, and underneath there is a layer of yogurt, which is probably their favorite thing to eat. Nigel likes it too. I'm not supposed to feed the pigs yet because we're trying to get them used to a later wake up time. Since Amber's gone, everyone gets to have fun free ranging. The geese are out and about. This is Edwin. Edwin, what are you doing? You're making a mess of the delicious food that I put out for you. This is one of our Red Ranger roosters. They grew super fast. They're supposed to be a dual purpose egg and meat bird. Um, I have yet to see an egg, but they are quite big. And the roosters are pretty sweet. Like they're not, they're not aggressive towards the other birds. Edwin is a salmon favorole. She has a ton of personality, and right now she's just picking food out of the bucket and putting it on the ground. Very nice. I come outside. It's nice out. It was very cold last night. It was about zero degrees, but it's supposed to be a 40 degree day. So I figure I'll let the birds out to play a little bit and maybe poop someplace other than inside of the coop. This, this goose has lost its gaggle. Goose. Goose, go outside. There you go. There you go. The gang is back together. <laughs> this is Sicky. She's one of our dark car copper morans or something. Um, we call her Sicky because she got really sick and really thin. We had to bring her inside, but now she's turning into a gorgeous bird. <clears throat> this is her sister, Dot. This was supposed to be an Americana. I don't really know what it is. She's very friendly. Hello. I think that's a buff Orpington. You gonna come outside? I already gave him a bunch of greens. They're spoiled. We should give them the free food and not the expensive food. Oh, it's got the cheese. Um, hello. What happened to the cheese? There it is. This is like uh, Dateline, you know, where they surprise people and they're like, ah, you're committing all these crimes. Oh my God. That's what we're going to do. Like to Tonight on Dateline, which chicken has been eating the eggs? We're about to find out Are we? with a surprise visit to the nesting box. No one, no one's eating the eggs. There's a bunch of them. Hello, rabbit. Did you get him yesterday? Oh, it's cracked. Oh, I'm gonna get you the pigs. So that's the Moran. I don't know what that really pale one is. That, that's that a Rhode Island red. Rhode Island red. What's the pale one from? I don't know. Delicious. He lets us be. Hello, Dot. Ah! Ow! Don't, don't be nasty. Look, see? You like it. Yeah, don't even pretend you don't. She's like, oh, nice little perch. 
They always give us a bunch of fuss at the at the start. They really enjoy it. Have you ever seen a rooster with a fluffier butt? He does have a very fluffy butt. They really like hay. Gives them something to scratch through. The geese usually eat up all these greens. See, it's just a bunch of like salad mixes and broccoli. They haven't made their way over here yet. They're working on it. The pigs are hungry. They're just not getting fed yet. You guys have to wait until later, midday. I know. Scratch. Oh, you fers. So, the pigs have decided that they're going to destroy the shingling on the shed. Joe, you would nibble, but you would never do that. Joe and I are good friends. He likes getting his butt scratched. Fighting. Mm. Mm. Huh, Joe? Mm. That's the best coat we have. It's a goose fight club. We're gonna break up the goose fight. Get out of here! Stop being nasty to each other! Stop being nasty! Get your shit together! Time to set up the chicken trap for the day. Richard? Oh, you guys wanna go in? I'm gonna put the rabbits and Lydia away. I'm making this video because I discovered the culprit in the destruction of my shed. It's ruined a friendship and I have to take back everything nice I said about Joe, ever. Joe, you would nibble, but you would never do that. Joe's the best goat we have. So I found that guy ripping freaking ripping the shingles off of my shed that I so painstakingly put there. Watch out, pigs. I take back some of the nasty things I said, not all of them. He still bit me. There he is. He knows what he's done, and he's hiding from it.
So yesterday, I found him red-handed, shingle in mouth. And as you can see, he has taken off. Ow! I just got bit again. So anyway, Joe is still hiding from me because we got into a physical altercation. Look, more evidence of the crime. Another shingle. Oh look, another one. We've been taking out all the shingles because they all have nails in them. And I really don't want somebody to eat a nail. But look at all the destruction. Oh, there's a nail. See? Easily nibbled. It's frustrating because not only did it was that a pain in the butt to put up there, now this particle board's exposed and it's probably gonna rot unless we put something up. Joe. Nasty goat. And these freaking pigs keep biting me. No more biting! I'm still not convinced the pigs haven't been helping. Jelly bean, innocent, completely innocent. She is an angel. She's shy, but she's an angel. Huh, J. Beanie Baby? <laughs>